This video is about words and their patterns and we're going to look at some examples of words and the patterns they occur in. When we look at verbs we have some very simple patterns such as the pattern V, the simple intransitive verb. Things like waiting, turned, changed, cope, finished and smiled. We're familiar too with the pattern VN, largely transitive verbs such as broke a window, bring a laptop, change its method, gave a grin, decide the future. But also verbs that are followed by compliments such as became a singer or seems a reasonable man. The pattern VNN is verbs followed by two noun phrases. He gave her a present, read them a story, envies him the opportunities he has, also called him Uncle Frank, elect me president, or lost its match to zero. Now let's look at some verbs and see all the patterns that those verbs have. The verb forget has a lot of patterns. Straightforward VN, I forgot them, or I forgot my passport. V followed by a WH clause, forgot where she'd left the car. V followed by a two infinitive, forgot to lock her door. Verb followed by a that clause, don't forget that dogs need a supply of water, or forget that sometimes she heard them quarrelling. Forget is also followed by the preposition about. I can't forget about what happened. She forgot about everything. And the very special meaning of forget is followed by a reflexive pronoun. She forgot herself. When we turn to nouns, we're going to look at two nouns, the noun evidence and the noun face. Evidence is followed by uh, the preposition of, evidence of widespread fraud, or the preposition for, evidence for gluons. It can also be followed by a that clause, there's a lot of evidence that stress is responsible for disease, or a two infinitive clause, no evidence to support this theory. It can be followed by the preposition against, the evidence against him, or in favour of, evidence in favour of Chomsky's analysis. When we turn to the word face, we're sometimes looking at things that come in front of the noun. For example, when face is the body part, in my face, it's, pre it's preceded by a possessive. But when it's something like, he was walking around with a sad face, you need the adjective, so the pattern is adjective noun. The north face of the eiger needs the of n, so the pattern is n of n. And change the face of UK politics, we need the the, so the pattern is the n of n. And the final very specific example, the adjective n of n, as in the ugly face of capitalism. We're now going to look at the patterns of two adjectives, worried and difficult. So if we look at worried, it can be followed by about, worried about problems, by by, worried by the risks. It can be followed by for, worried for the safety of the little girl, or over, worried over the government's refusal. It can be followed by a that clause, worried that his girlfriend will leave him, or by as to and a WH clause, worried as to what can have happened to him. Looking at difficult, it can be followed by a two infinitive clause, difficult to replace, or we have the longer pattern with it and the two infinitive. It is so difficult to be definite. We can also put a prepositional phrase with for into that pattern. It would be difficult for me to give up basketball. And difficult can be followed by the specific clause beginning with when. It's very difficult when you lose a game. And the it can follow the verb find. I find it difficult to lose weight. Those are the patterns that we've found uh, with those verbs, nouns and adjectives. But 
Looking at patterns is always a snapshot in time because patterns can change over time. You may be familiar with the adjective bored used with with. I get bored with having sandwiches every day. But especially if you're younger, you may be more familiar with bored followed by of. She'd grown bored of her factory work. It's a change in English. Another change is the use of the, of the verb impact. This has really impacted on the national psyche, as opposed to have impacted the business community in general with no on. And we do find that patterns are different in different varieties of English. In British English, mistake is usually used with for. Mistake is niceness for weakness. But in many varieties of English, it's used with as. Mistook the noises as the gang firing at them. More information about grammar patterns are available on this channel or go to the grammar section of collinsdictionary.com.